Okay, now here I'm going to describe the basic flow of the signal from the antennas into the uh, computer shack and into the Blade RF. And what I have here is you can see some of the, the coax cables. This is just your simple uh, garden variety RG6U uh, cable, uh, roughly 250 meters worth uh, to get out to all three antennas. And here's only two of the antennas, the other one's coming from another direction into the shack. And what happens is this uh, cable, so there's DC power running through the cables to, to power the preamps that are outside. And when the signal comes in to the, in the house, first of all, it's passing into the, the power supply for one of the uh, AntennaCraft 10 uh, G212 uh, preamps. And once it uh, passes through that, then the output of this preamplifier is going into a mini circuits uh, 70 uh, megahertz uh, low pass filter. And this is going to help cut off any FM radio signals that uh, got into the, into, got through the first stage of the preamp. And this is really important because uh, strong FM transmitters are going to cause some huge problems when you amplify that in the second stage. So uh, after passing through the filter, the low pass filter, it's going into a second 10G212 uh, antenna craft preamp. And you've got to really pump up the signal a lot, and that's why I have two stages of amplification here. Um, the signal is passing through this cable right here, and this is the power supply for the second stage of amplification. Once it signal it gets amplified through the second set of amplifiers, then it moves to this cable here, and there are some uh, 54 megahertz high pass filters here that are used to help clean up the signal a second time to make sure that the uh, mixer doesn't get challenged with, uh, with, some, with lower uh, wavelength signals. So the signal passes through this cable into a mini circuits uh, ZFM 150 or a ZFM 15 mixer, just simple uh, matter of a supply issue why they're not all identical. And these mixers uh, mix the, you know, the roughly 60 megahertz signal coming in here uh, with a signal that's produced by, uh, this is a Balon uh, 5007 synthesizer. And what the synthesizer is doing is it's generating 835 megahertz signals that are filtered uh, with a mini circuits uh, high pass filter and used to provide a local oscillator for the mixer. So the IF that comes from these three plug in mixers then passes through these cables right here and meets yet another filter. And this filter is uh, something that I've added in recently that's really important to get the system to work uh, at its full uh, potential. And these are uh, Christec saw filters that have a center frequency of 835 megahertz. And what's important about these filters is that they're tight enough that they can both block uh, the local oscillator leakage from the mixers and any other signals, like signals in the, on the low side of the mixer. Uh, and then I can filter it so that I just have the high side signals enter into the Blade RF. And the Blade RF has a reasonably sensitive front end, however, it cannot handle very high signal levels. And uh, you can easily overload it, then it's not linear. And that's been a source of problems that I had trouble sh troubleshooting in the past. But now everything is very, uh, basically highly filtered and uh, produces a very high performance uh, uh, product in the end. So after the uh, signals go through into the blades, then they travel by a USB 3 cable into the back of this computer here, which is an i7-4790K uh, based uh, CPU, um, and uh, so it's basically it's a fast machine, and you need something fast, and you must have a USB 3 uh, capabilities to, uh, to get uh, signal coming at 15 million samples per second from each of the three blade radios. Uh, you can't see it here, but once the signals go through, get recorded a new radio, they're put onto solid state uh, drives, which are inside the computer, and you have to have solid state drives uh, to, to get this sort of performance. Uh, physical hard drives simply will not do. So uh, that's a, a key thing. I have three one terabyte drives, uh, so I can store uh, 91 minutes worth of data, roughly. Um, and uh, that's, that's quite a bit of data, three terabytes uh, total um, for a 91 minute uh, recording session. Later on, 
then after the data is recorded, then it could be transferred to uh, a, a USB-based, USB-3-based uh, physical hard drive where it can be stored uh, more conveniently for later processing.